no surprise, it was a very active day. In fact, we had a derecho come through that was classified by the Storm Prediction Center. Now, a reminder that not every single derecho is going to be what we saw in August of 2020. That was rare and kind of on the extreme end of a derecho scale. But nonetheless, it fit the bill with a lot of wind reports. 68 wind damage reports, by the way, in total for just the Quad Cities. 13 reports of hail, including golf ball sized hail in Roseville. We had 80 mile per hour winds being estimated in Elizabeth, which is in Joe Davis County. So very active day. We had six reports of tornadoes so far. Only four of those are confirmed. The National Weather Service is still surveying this weekend, so we expect to learn more from them as we go through the next few days. And taking a look at some of those storm reports, it is likely that the uh, tornado that we had near Coin Center may have regenerated into parts of Rock Island County, also northern Henry County, perhaps not once but twice, because you see there's another report of that tornado. And if you draw a line, it's almost nearly perfect, the path that that storm was taking. So National Weather Service crews, they're going to continue to survey that. We hope to hear more perhaps as early as this weekend, but it's probably going to be early next week given the holiday. So I want to remind you of the duration of frequency around here. It's one per year in the Quad Cities, so we've already had our one, but we are in the prime duration season between now and about July. So more time that we could see yet another one, but fingers crossed that that was the only one we're going to see this year and we're done with it now.